Before 2018, there was no requirement for nurses or midwives to have any sort of cultural training, resulting in many healthcare professionals that don't have much knowledge around Aboriginal cultures. The result is often a healthcare system that's very foreign to many Aboriginal people and maybe not so inviting. Hi, I'm Dr. Nina Sievertsen. I'm a senior lecturer and researcher in the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. I'm an Arctic Indigenous woman. My life changed when um, I experienced nursing in the Northern Territory in an Aboriginal community. And I learned a deeper understanding of kinship networks and traditions and cultural beliefs. I work with community and health systems research alongside and in partnership with uh, First Peoples. So we try to contribute to restorative uh, policy and practice changes looking at people's stories and incorporating that into clinical practice and seeing how can we improve this access is really important in my work. Figuring out how can we work with big um, institutions and on system level try to figure out how to change models of care and how to sort of slowly evolve it. Because what we often see in healthcare is that people are bounced around from one service to another. We know that if we can have a person for a long time and build relationships and trust, then that is going to impact on people's health and well-being.